Welcome to the lair of the Batty Boffin. Hi there Batty fans, a little bit more exam practice with the Batty Boffin and Batilda the Batty Cat. Now today you can see she's hiding inside her little house there. And we'd like to know a few things about this house. Being a very mathematical cat of course she knows all the dimensions. She knows that the height from where the roof starts to the top of the roof is 3 metres. She knows that the total width of her house is 8 metres and of course it's a perfectly symmetrical house. So for part A I'd like to know please how long is that slopey part of her house? So have a go at that one now. Right here we go. I've drawn out her roof here and I've marked in three as the vertical height. Now of course it's a symmetrical house so that means that we can chop it in half and half of the width of the roof is four. The reason I've chopped it in half as you can see there we've got a right angled triangle and when we've got right angled triangles we can do all kinds of nice things including in this case Pythagoras. So for here we've got a short and another short and we want the long. Okay, Pythagoras is usually quoted as a squared plus b squared equals c squared or sometimes, I often say that one because your triangle might not be labelled a, b and c. Whichever way around you prefer it, it really doesn't matter. We end up with a 3 squared plus a 4 squared equals the thing we want. I'm going to call it x equals x squared. Okay, 3 squared that's 9 plus 4 squared that's 16 and that equals x squared. Those come to 25. Please note 25 is not your answer. 25 is x squared, so we have to square root it. So I'm going to square root both sides, which is going to give me 5 equals x. In this case, 5 metres. So the slopey side is 5 metres. Um, it's possible that you may have recognised this as a standard right angle triangle, the 3, 4, 5 one, because most of the time when you work out these square roots they don't come out to nice numbers. This one has to come out to a nice one. If you recognise it as a 3, 4, 5 triangle, that's totally fine. You can just put 3, 4 and then put 5 up there as well. Although personally I'd show a bit of working just to make the examiner happy. Poor things. Remember, they might not have had a cup of tea and a chocky bicky very recently, so be nice to your examiners. Right, that's part A. I'm going to wipe down and then we're going to look at part B. Welcome back. Now for part B we're looking at the doorway to Matilda's house. The doorway is made of two vertical sides with a half circle over the top. And we have some dimensions. The total height of the doorway to the very top is 3 metres. The width of it we're not told, but we are told that it's 3 metres on either side. So what I'd like you to do for part B is to work out the distance all around the arch shape of her doorway. Okay, so that's from the ground over the top and down to the ground on the other side. Okay, have a go at that now. Okay, I've drawn out the doorway here as the two straight sides and a half circle on the top and the total overall height is three meters. Now that's not very much information to go on just at the moment, but we can get some more. The width of the doorway, when we take the eight, take away those threes on either side, gives us two meters for the width of the doorway. Okay, now we need to look at the circle at the top now because what we need to know is to know the height of these straight bits. If the diameter of this semicircle up there is two meters, then we know its radius is one meter, which means that this dimension here is one. Now, if you didn't get any of that, you'll have found the rest of it hard. So what I'm going to do is pause the video again, and just in case you got stuck at this bit, you can carry on from here. Okay, so I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Right, let's carry on from where we were. Let's do the straight sides first. They're pretty easy. If we have a one for the radius of that semicircle at the top, then that means that these were each two meters. Okay, so we've got a two meters and two meters. That's easy. Now we need to do the semicircle. The curve over a semicircle is half of a circle. 
okay and for the all the way around a circle is the circumference circumference equals pi times the diameter or 2 pi r whichever one you prefer I'm going to use pi times the diameter given that we've got the diameter in our particular case that's pi 3.14 or use the pi button on your calculator multiplied by the diameter which is 2 okay at this point in time you probably want to get out your calculator um, I wouldn't actually be too difficult on a non-calculator paper actually so it's nothing too difficult anyway I'm going to use the pi button pi times 2 and that gives me 6.28 fairly obviously 6.28 that is all the way round the circle we don't want all of that we only want half of that so the arch equals half of that which actually is back to 3.14 again okay 3.14 plus a 2 and a 2 so plus 4 and we get a total of 7.14 metres okay 7.14 metres 4 up there 3.14 as it happens over there and 2 down there okay hope you enjoyed that I'll see you again on another video for a little bit more exam practice bye for now Batty fans Mwah! Mwah! Mwah!